Hey guys, welcome to 101nursing.com. My name is Priscilla and today we'll be talking about treatments for coronary artery disease um, and angina. And this is surgical treatments and various different types of um, things that could occur. Let's go. So we have here an angioplasty. Angioplasty is basically what a cardiac, cardiac surgeon goes in and balloons up, blows up the area in which he puts a balloon catheter and blows up and smashes the plaque onto the wall. We have here stents. Stents is doing essentially the same thing as an angioplasty doing is doing and it's also smashing and keeping the wall, the arterial wall open, allowing for patent air to flow, uh, patent blood to flow. Patent blood to flow in and out. So what we want to have when you have a stent is you get a card and that card is saying basically I have this and you have to be careful when you uh, we're in contact with metal because that is a metal object and it can get dislodged. You want to make sure they're on beta blockers and you want to make sure that they are on, you know, the statins, beta blockers. Um, And this is what essentially happens when they put in a stent. They thread the thread the catheter all throughout this area and they blow it up where they put stents in there. And it just increases the the patency of the vessel. And you see how thick and big and healthy it is now. Uh, even in the end over there it's, it was looking really, really, really small. And look how um, bigger it has become because of the stenting. This is a coronary artery bypass surgery. So they um, bypass your coronary artery. And this is a cabbage surgery. So this is where the, the, the blockage is. So they just attach an external uh, a vessel, a vein from your legs or your arms and they actually put in the veins backwards because veins have um, arteries have veins have valves and so um, so they can say they wouldn't put it wouldn't return they put it backwards and they attach this to your aorta and bypassing the plaque and the blockage within your heart.